Hi. In this video, you're going to learn more about parameters, which make functions more powerful and more interesting. Last lesson, you learned what a function looks like. You also learned how to use a function once you've made it. We can make functions behave differently by using variables, but this would be annoying to do every time. Fortunately, there's a better way to do this, and it exists in the form of parameters. In this lesson, we're going to take a closer look at parameters. Remember, a parameter is basically a variable name. You put the variable name inside the function's parentheses. You can then use that name in the function as though it was a variable that you declared. But where does this variable get its value from? You actually give the variable a value when you call the function. This is sort of equivalent to saying num equals 10 inside the function. Except that num can have different values each time you call print a number. Quick note on terminology. In this example, num is the parameter, and the values 10, 20, and 30 are called arguments. Basically, the thing that goes in the parentheses of the function is called the parameter, and the thing that goes in the parentheses of the function when it's called are called arguments. So let's take a closer look. Here's the code from the last slide along with what it outputs. Notice that we call print a number three times, the first time using 10, the second time using 20, and the third time using 30. Each time it takes that different value and prints it out. Here's an example of a function with multiple parameters. The parameter names are separated by commas. When you call a function like this, you provide the arguments, in this case 5 and 6, in parentheses and separate them with commas. Notice too that the first number corresponds to the value that goes into the first variable and the second number goes into the second variable. Arguments always have to be in the same order that they're going to be listed as in the parameters. Parameters can also have default values. Notice that inside the parentheses of print sum is what looks like an assignment statement. That says that if the second parameter value is not provided by the arguments, it should have 20 by default. In other words, Python will automatically change the first call from print sum 10 to print sum 10 comma 20. And when we call that 10 comma 20, you notice that it prints out 30. Parameters with default values have to come at the end of the list of parameters in a function. The code at the right will not work because the normal parameter second comes after the parameter with the default value first. 